country is averaging a 49-4 on the vault. And they put up a new Cal record, 49-525 at the Sprouts Farmers Market Quad last week. And MJ Frazier, you just saw there in warm-ups, had a perfect 10. Their other score was a 49-325. That's their Lester score. As we look back at the first rotation for Washington, they want to keep contact with California, stay in this meet, and post their best score of the year. Take it back to the leadoff, it was Lily Tubbs with a career high. And she's a tall athlete, and so really showed off her strength and power there. Beautiful form in the air, great air awareness to find that landing. Coach Llewellyn talked about she expects more from the sophomores this year. Lily being one of them, she's on three events. Emily Innes, who is also on a vault. It's really important for them to improve and make up those spots from the 12 routines that they lost. Yeah, 12 out of 24, so half, half of your routines from last year gone. And I would think that Jen Llewellyn would have to tell the sophomores, you're upperclassmen now because we have five freshmen. So we have to include you with those juniors and those seniors. They only have a, a handful of seniors anyway. Right. And so a lot of pressure. And we maybe saw them with Skylar Kill or Wilhelm on our vault, maybe trying to do too much to try and lift up the back end of that lineup. Yep, and that's what Coach Llewellyn talked about. She wants them to settle into their gymnastics and let the meat nerves just move through them and don't overdo it and harness that adrenaline for perfection as opposed to being a little too too excited yeah, you got to find the sweet spot, right? Yep. And, and we've talked about getting better as the season wears on, and you just saw a quick reflection of that with Lily Tubbs on that vault. Her first vault of the year was a 9.75. Last week in Iowa, a 9.8, and now she goes 9.875. So that's what you want to see. Though in track, you call it descending splits, where you go faster each quarter mile. In gymnastics, you want to just better each event each week. And it'll be interesting to watch Cal here because their first two meets of the season were on a podium. Everything feels different on a podium that means it's a there's a hollow space underneath this raised space that they compete on and so the board bounces a little differently the vault you get a little bit of different bounce from it and the landing this can be easier to dial in well there's been a lot of challenges today Jen Llewellyn knows about challenges first we had a problem with the uh, the vault springboard and then it was our headset Jen yep. thanks for, for coming over again we appreciate it of course thanks for having me uh, already in your third season but this one's different right because six newcomers including the five freshmen and we were just talking about how you lost half your routines from last year so we did where does the leadership come from and how do you make the transition yeah it's been a great transition um, we have a lot of talent so it's been really exciting in the preseason to just see their growth each and every week um, and I think that's what brings us joy in coaching in the, in the meet season too um, we've progressed a lot in the last two weeks so we're excited to be back in home in our comfort um, but we have a great um, leadership core in our juniors and seniors and we quite honestly have a lot of leadership from our freshmen and the sophomores. So we're really trying to dial in um, on each person's uh, leadership ability and trying to bring out the most that they can to give to the team. So you started with a great 49 on vault. Mm -hmm. What are you looking for on bars? Yes, on bars we've been focusing a lot on handstands, detail work, legs, um, and just landings. And obviously holding the landing position so we don't get any deduction there on the hold. But excited for this next rotation. Jen, thanks for coming over. Appreciate your patience. Thank you. Good ups. Best of luck rest of the way. Jen Luella now in her third season led UW to the regionals the last two seasons. And of course made her, made her name at Lindenwood, which is a Division II school. She won three national championships. So California begins on the vaults, and we told you already, but let's underscore one more time. Best team in all of collegiate gymnastics on this event. And they begin with Maddie Williams. Maddie Williams on the vault this year, a 9.825 and a 9.9. Last year she had 9.8 or better 11 times. That's gonna be right there. Wow, that is her second stick in a row. Fantastic, sort of a clinic on how you do that year, Chenko full. Great job to the leadoff, Maddie Williams. And just what you want from a leadoff. Yep, S steady. That's why, you know, sometimes the coaches opt for that year, Chenko full, instead of the one and a half where you have a little bit more risk with the forward landing. Dia Moody, a junior from Frisco, Texas on the bars. Her scores fell off on this event last year at the end of the season, but she started pretty well in 975 at Vegas and the 9-8 on the road at Iowa last week. Again, 
building score should she go through so she's looking for something above 9-8 on this routine dia said she's in the best physical and mental shape she has been in her college career and really focused on tiny details in the offseason like that handstand half pirouette the best i've seen her do she's had a few tiny leg separations and maybe rushed that handstand a bit yep didn't let it get vertical sets up a big full in there you go Cody Llewellyn had his hands in the air because he knew that was going to be a great landing. He, he reacted before she hit the landing mat. Here's this dismount. Check the height. Right there. See, the coach knew. Yep. Chest was a little bit forward, but great air awareness. I was always skeptical.